What's up YouTube? I'm Justin, Justin Porter Media. Today we're going to talk about shooting a cinematic sequence. What's going on y'all? Welcome back to yet another awesome tutorial video. Today we're talking about creating that super dope, sexy cinematic sequence that you see almost every YouTuber do. Everyone does it, no matter what the film is, no matter what the movie you're watching is, it has some of this dope B-roll, those cinematic sequences that are just super, super, super eye-pleasing. Today we're gonna talk about it. Today we're gonna break it down to what I believe goes into creating the best cinematic sequence, and it should definitely help you guys out. You'll be definitely shooting better by the end of this video, so let's jump right into it before we get started let me know what you guys think of this setup i brought the camera in a little bit tighter this time i got the mic a little bit closer so hopefully the audio sounds a1 with that rode ntg3 i really really think this setup looks the best but let me know what you guys are thinking you guys are the viewers so I, obviously i'm making these videos for you let me know what you want to see and i'll make more of it and do it better every video moving forward so anyways let's jump straight into this creating a cinematic sequence so first we're going to talk about audio capturing good audio and incorporating some of that audio in your cinematic sequence in my my own opinion it is more important to grab great audio than it is to grab a great shot researching this and even watching some of the skits and things that i see online even if the shot was horrible even if what i was watching was completely boring like i'm just like oh my god what is this if the audio sounds good i'm probably gonna stick around so what are some things you can do inexpensively to grab great audio i went out after shooting the entire sequence and everything we wanted to do i went out and recorded audio to complement the areas that i was walking the river the waterfall things like that that i can incorporate into the sequence that you guys saw that just it's something about audio that just gave it that really great satisfying feeling like if it wasn't there you know something was missing whether you're using dialogue or just sound from the environment that you're in you've got to get some good audio uh, at least to incorporate at some point through your cinematic sequence to help keep your viewers watching when you get audio make sure you get everything like they're walking leaves brushing up against something the sticks moving in the grass the water just get shots of everything get that sound so that you can incorporate that into your videos you never know how you're going to use it and once you get back to editing i do it all the time i get back i'm editing and i'm like why didn't i get that shot but for those of you that don't have a recording device, I have a solution for you. I personally use a ton of free sound or royalty free sound from different websites. My favorite being freesound.org. I'll leave links to all the stuff that I talk about today in the description, so be sure to check that out. But freesound.org is a free platform. You sign up with an email and a password, create an account, and boom, you got access to a vast variety of different sound effects, sounds, all kinds of different things. I literally will go in there, type in like click noise, and boom, a whole list of click noises pop up and I can go through them. So now we've got audio covered. That's like the ground, that's like the bread of your entire cinematic sequence, right? You've got the audio, you gotta have good sound. You can get by with, a sh with shaky footage, you can get by with you know out of focus shots, but having good audio, mm, that's gonna keep everybody watching. Now we're gonna talk about getting the shot and, ex and specifically what some things you can do to turn a boring shot into a cinematic shot. The key behind creating a cinematic shot and getting that cinematic feeling that, why am I saying cinematic so much? Just cinematic, 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 <sighs> cinematic. Anyways, so to get some of these really, really, really awesome shots, you've got to incorporate motion. Now, I know some of you guys don't have gimbals, you don't have steady cam stabilizers of any sort, and you're freehanding it, which is 100% okay. When incorporating motion into your shots, it can be as simple as a simple pan, tilts from low to high or high to low, and then walking with the subject, just small things like that. Now that we've talked about audio and we've talked about putting motion in your shots, Let's continue this on and go a little bit deeper and, and talk about establishing shots. For example, if you have a drone, fly the drone up above where you're shooting, even as basic as just taking your camera, you know, holding it on a monopod or your tripod and getting some pans and things like that of the actual scenery itself before you introduce the subject or slightly after you introduce the subject. Establishing shots are a great way to incorporate some of that where we are feeling with your viewers so that they can feel that they're there and go, oh, 
they're amazed. They get to see where you're at and they're amazed by it. And that's the whole point of establishing shots is to create that personal feeling with your viewers. So establishing shots, motion in your shots, and audio. Now we're gonna talk about the fourth final component, just as if not more important than audio itself, and that's angles. I'm walking up to this brick about six or seven times. The whole purpose is to get it from all the angles. So in order to get a really good cinematic shot and have really good cuts, don't be afraid to jump around and get the shot. The same thing from different places. You cannot get enough angles. Wide, medium, close, super close. Get as many angles as possible. Don't be afraid to climb that rock and get the shot from super far. You know, you have to be able to incorporate some of these different field of views so when your viewers are watching it, they can actually connect with that, whatever's happening in your scene. If you're walking just to the lake like I was to take pictures, you can see that close up shot. You see the you see the low tilts with, the, with my feet. You see the wide shot. Then you see the reveal, the establishing shot. Then the super wide shot of me walking across the rocks. Some of those things are so subtle, but so pleasing to the viewers. When they watch it, they're like, mm, that was dope. So be sure to incorporate angles no matter what. If you take anything away from this video, you will instantly up your video game if you start getting more angles. It's things like that that are so subtle, but so important when you're creating a cinematic sequence or any type of film for that matters is, is, is those establishing shots and those close-ups, those angles to see things from different point of views. But that's it, y'all. So make sure you're going out there when you're getting this dope content that you're getting establishing shots, you're getting motion in your shots, you're getting great audio because you can't cheat audio and get angles that's all I mean that's it those four things your video game is through the roof I promise you that again let me know what you guys think of this setup I brought everything in a little bit tighter I tried to make it a little bit better more compact for you guys I think this is the the view that I'm probably gonna end up sticking with I, I've been trying to figure out how I wanted to record these studio shots let me know what you guys think though how's the audio sound how's that picture look just <laughs> all of it just let me know everything drop some comments down below but that's it if you learned something please hit that subscribe button hit that bell because i've got some very exciting things happening i don't want to tell you right now i know i said this a couple of times but trust me it's super exciting when i announce it you guys are definitely going to want to be a part of it so smash that subscribe button hit that bell if you like this video give it a thumbs up give it a thumbs up and share it. Share it, help me out, help another creator. I know there's other beginners out there. By you hitting that share button, you get to view it and get some knowledge and then they get to view it and get some knowledge and then they may share it and then the next person gets to view it and get some knowledge. We're all just getting knowledge together. So share it, like it, subscribe, and I will see you guys next week when I tell you an exciting thing that took place this Labor Day weekend for me. Stick your tongue